All right, here's what's going on. I um, I got this. I've been I've had my eye on this Roth design for for quite a while now. But then um, for some reason, uh, something popped up, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And I was talking to uh, Mark Harmon. You know, everybody knows who Mark Harmon is. But um, and he was like, man, that would be a good. He was actually like, I'm not going to try to do his voice. Actually. I'm not going to throw Mark under the bus, but he said, hey, you know what you should do? You should do release set on Halloween. So today's Friday, the 29th. So I'm going to do my best to have to print this on Halloween and release it. Um, you know, that that'll be Sunday, Sunday evening. So, um, yeah, and I just wanted to go over the process of what I go through to make the reproductions of this. Um, one of the first things that I did is um, I got some um, paper to kind of to match this as close as I possibly could. Um, and then to also mix the colors. But I'm going to get into mixing the colors whenever I go to print. This will be like a two-part two, two part video. Um, and I'm going to try to just make it real easy. Um, but these are three-color prints. And um, once again, I'm just going to go over the process that I go through to, to reproduce these. And I just brought these out to kind of show an example of, of what they um, they look like. I've done more than this in this series. It's it's like I'm doing like the MCO, like I've like two series going on in this, um, in, in all the Rat Fink prints that I do. Um, and I will show you that. That Rat Fink right there is exactly from that one. That's my pride and joy right there. Okay, so, all right, to begin, um, the, to, to, to begin, um, the one thing to really that I really consider is see like the the design is really the glue line outside, so I want to uh, make a photocopy of this to to get the the glue line and to get the um, to 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 pull the image from here. Um, I start off with the first thing I always do. I just try to get a good clean copy at one hundred percent, and that'll be the copy that I work with. Um, me and, this, me and this new, wait a minute, I'm out, what? I'm out of, I'm out of paper. All right, let me go get some paper. All right, I got, I got the, uh, got the paper. Let's print this out at 100% and see how it copies. Now this is the first time I've copied one of these water slide decals on this copy machine. So um, let's see how it does. Let's study it here. Oh man, it looks, it looks good. Okay, as you can tell, See, it's it's picked up some of the um, some of the outline, which is good. Um, I just wanted to see what it copied like it at at one, you know, just straight up. Uh, since it's the first time, um, I'm gonna actually lighten it up a little bit and then copy that because I want to work from a copy. Like I don't want to blow up from um, from the copy. I want to blow up from a photocopy still got a little bit of trace around the top there and that see that will show up so um God, it looks really good this copy machine is awesome so i'm going to go one density lighter let's try it again and this is how i end up with all these extra photocopies um that i put in um i put them in that milk right there and then um and then those go in with, with extra orders and stuff so when you order prints or whatever and you get all these photocopies you're like what is all this that's what it is and we're going to turn this on and see i don't want to go much lighter than this man look how good that copied copied so good um Still got a little bit of a trace up there, but that's okay. So, but here's another thing I want to do. Now we're going to go the opposite direction. We're going to darken it all the way up. Still learning. And then this will, that this copy will do, it'll pick up that glue line so we'll know exactly how, what size to go um, with the glue line. So, so you can see the glue line. You can barely see that glue line. Um, and that's the darkest copy. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to, 
before I start copying in and blow up, actually you can see it pretty good actually. I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna take a pencil and trace around this line so I've got a good solid copy of it. Cause as I blow up, it'll, it'll disappear. And if I just do that solid line and it, 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 it saves a lot of steps. So, okay, I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, I did that, um, I traced the line uh, the best I could. So he here's, here's what I'm gonna do next. Now I'm gonna start blowing this up to fit and do the 16 by 20 uh, template. I'm trying to film and do all this stuff with one hand. Okay, so, um, and, and one thing I've learned with like, like, like all the work I've done, I've been doing this stuff forever. Uh, and a friend of mine, Connie and I, we had a design studio called Print Mafia and we did tons of work. So through all that process of working together, I picked up a lot of, um, a lot of things that I do, a lot of habits, I guess, or, or, um, yeah, just say habits. So one thing is like this copy machine, the maximum it will blow up is 400%. And I know that 200% is not going to do it. I know I'm going to have to go 200 and then more, uh, probably 200 and 135, but, um, don't want to blow it up 400% right. Like the, the right percent, like the, 335 percent it would be right off the bat like i blow it up in increments of 200 uh just something it just holds uh, it just does better for some reason and, and it just like uh, it just does better. okay so this is 200 percent, and we're already running off the paper page that doesn't make any sense okay i didn't realize it would be this big but man that's a big decal okay so what in, what's going on here like this thing is huge so basically what i'm gonna do because I'm, I'm gonna really need to concentrate and, and work on this is i'm gonna find the right percentage on the copy machine to fit in the template it looks like it's gonna fit in the template pretty good like sometimes um sometimes they don't and they fit a little weird a uh, rat fink, you know, fits right down the middle. Surf fink, you know, is over to the side a little bit and, you know, hugs the side. Mustanger does pretty damn good. Uh, so I think this one is going to do really well. Boy, it's going to be a ton of ink. But I need to just put the phone down and concentrate on getting it into the... And, and I'm not going to do anything magical. I'm just going to find the correct percentage that this needs to be to fit in the 16 by 20 template. All right, I got everything in the template. I've got, um, and this is my, I got the red X means that it, that is my original copy. This is what I'm gonna make the film from. It didn't go in the, um, the template like I thought. I really had to shrink it. It ended up being, well, I only blew it up 170%. Usually on these decals, that, I guess that decal is just bigger. You know what, I mean, let's just stop guessing. Let's just go over here and pick one out. Let's. Um, Let's see, one that I've made, well, that's a huge one. I've made prints for that one. Um, well, yeah, obviously, look, so check this out. If I can get it, I guess I should have planned this out better. Okay, so, though this Hungry Vet, I did one of it. it. Oh my gosh, it's so much smaller. So usually I blow these up 200% and then another 150 to 135% to fit inside the template comfortably. Um, like I said, this one I just went up 170% from the original water slide decal. And um, and you can tell it's going to be like, so outside of this line, it's still another inch to go. So you're gonna, we're going to have like big borders and not so um, big on the side. It, it's, but it's going to look okay. I mean, it, it'll fit in with all the other, you know, prints and that's just the way it is. That's the way the original artwork's done. It's not like I'm going to change it. Um, so anyway, um, now all I have left to do, and I guess this will be pretty much the end of the video because it's just not going to be that interesting is I'm going to lay a piece of paper over this, this, um, this outline around here. And I need to put this, I need to put this over here before I end up cutting it up. I always do that. Okay. So, um, this outline right here that's going to be one solid color that'll be the first color that'll be the tan and then um i need to go in here 
and lay another piece of paper and cut the stencils for all the white. As you can see, like the white is outside, goes around the Grim Reaper, which is actually gonna make it easier to print. And then um, it's pretty self-explanatory what I'll be doing next. After that, just, uh, just cutting the white. Um, it's a little tricky through here. I'll cut a white, uh, a stencil for the white. And I need to make sure that I'll leave that tan there out. Yeah, this, this is pretty intricate. It's uh, This is going to be a cool print. But anyway, that'll be it for this video. Um, no, wait a minute. I'll, I'll show you what the films look like. And then that'll be the end. All right, well, that's it. I've got all the color separations. Everything's cut. Um, this is... Uh, the tan and the white will go over that um, and then I've done videos before on, on like how I cut the stencils but that's part of the stencil to get the white and then uh, then just the black so next step will be I'll go to Kinko's and make films and then I'll just make a separate video on on the actual printing um, but uh, yeah I'm gonna print this in a couple of days so I need to go to Kinko's today Oh, and I forgot to say, thank you for watching and like and subscribe and all that stuff. Um, if you have any questions, just send me a message or sometimes I miss those messages on the videos, but I'll do a better job at trying to get that all figured out. I'll drop something. Okay. All right. Everybody have a good day.